Hello everyone, welcome to Daily Bites. I am Babu Gupta, and uh, today we have Raghav with us. So, uh, without any wasting, without wasting any time, I will ask Raghav to go ahead and introduce himself. Thanks, Vibhav, again, and we are doing this uh, probably for the third or fourth time. So, I'll not go into much of my introduction. I've been in the BI or analytics industry for more than a decade right now. I've worked in with plethora of tools like. Tableau, OBI, Spotfire, Informatica, Data Stage, SSIS, Altrix. I worked on many tools. Um, so, and I'm a data engineer, data architect, and and trying to become a thought leader in business intelligence and data analytics one day. So that's my journey. Taking further time, uh, let's focus on the agenda for today, and that is Spotfire. It is one of the dynamic BI tools, uh, which is being used by many organizations for various sets of analytics and visualization stuffs. So Raghav, uh, in your words, what is Spotfire and why it is uh, used so frequently by organizations? Very good question. First of all, I've been using Spotfire from almost 2013, so nine years. So I, what is Spotfire? In nutshell, it's a business intelligence tool. Why do we need BI? Is of course when when some business wants to take an informed decision. There should be a tool, a simple Excel. What does it do? You have all the rows in an Excel, but once you convert into a bar chart, you know how much of the progress. Let's say if I want to see how my employees are doing every month, let's say performance, a simple bar chart of like 10, 20, 30 percent. These 30 percent of the employees are best performing, or something like that. Imagine that in a automated tool where the data is directly coming from a database. And from multiple sources, let it be Excel sheet, SQL Server, Oracle, all these databases. If you merge all this, then we can, if we come up with an intelligence tool that is uh, Spotfire. Spotfire is a BI tool. So um, uh, there are many tools in the market like OBI EE, Tableau, and Spotfire is also one of the major players. Um, I would like to go into the comparison, but before that, I just want to grab some basics of IR, where we say uh, info links, and uh, we say we can define a lot of filterings and uh, do other stuffs. So, what these terms exactly are, and uh, how it is very beneficial for developers to know about them. Good question again. So, let's go into the components of Spotify, right? So Spotfire has, um, I'll, it's, it's a very different architecture now, but I'll put it in a simpler way. There is a web layer where our users can access all the data. Um, for something to be accessed on the web, we need to develop something, right? So it's called a Spotfire consumer or a Spotfire professional. In Spotfire professional, there are places where you can configure a data source to a database. And once you configure the data source to data source, I see all this. Let's say I connected to my Oracle HR database. I see all the tables in the database. That's not what I want. I want data from employee, all the employees, and how are they performing in the performance table, let's say. If you want to join these two data sets and show a report, how do you do? You create an info link, an information link, which is nothing but a view. You can say it's a, SQL view, which joins my employee information, joins my performance information, creates an information link, and that information link becomes my information becomes my data source for my report. So that's one thing. And once the data once the data is there, how do you build it? Let's say I want to know what's my top five performance in the last three years. That's a filtering option. So you have a lot of filtering schemes, options, where you can automatically, um, good thing about Spotfire is automatically creates filters. You can stop that feature too, but it automatically creates filters. And that way we can probably do it. So apart from that, there are many components. Bookmarking is there. Uh, you have a nice data model layer where you can see how the data comes in. Uh, you are joining which tables and nicely, a nice. it's called a canvas. So we have a canvas in Spotfire where you can see how the info links are being added and how the data tables are joining. So it's a nice visual way of how the data is modeled and also seen. So many, many components, but 
focusing on infolink and canvas for this particular thing. i would like to bring in more comparison here with the, another tool uh, which is called as obie so oracle business Inter- intelligence enterprise edition so there is various version of that tool as well but uh, let's let's take an example of the current existing version and we we know that uh, it has a bmm layer so business modeling and finally the presentation layer where uh, the overall data which has been prepared is utilized in the visualization uh, for the end users so uh, we see that there is a less flexibility in this tool because you have to prepare at the first layer second layer and third layer is a presentation is it uh, possible in spotfire that we can uh, do the different sets of uh, calculations at different levels is it that kind of flexibility there so it's a you have to look at spotfire in a completely different angle now i think i should have le- told you what when you asked me what is spotfire spotfire is actually a in memory uh, tool right i'll talk about that in a second why am i saying an in memory tool so i worked on obie too i when i started my career i first started on obie so i exactly know so what is the three layers what you're talking about spotfire is not all those three layers Spotfire is only one layer. So you can call it as the information designer layer. So you have one layer where you connect to the data source and also create a link and expose it to this Spotfire dashboard or Spotfire developer where they start creating those reports. Whereas in OBI, step one, you do a creation of data source. Then you create the measures separately. You create the hierarchies separately. Then from there, how you want to showcase in the front end, it is and one more thing about OBIE versus Spotfire, it's a very good question, actually. So when somebody selects a particular, let's say he wants to see my employees are performing, if that's the same question again, so what you can do, what happens is when somebody clicks a button in OBIE, it goes back to the database, gets the information and shows to you, right? In Spotfire, it doesn't go back. The information is already here. So the speed is important. The ease of use is important. So what happens is when the information link is loading, that's what we say. Let's say we load all the data for today and keep it in our RAM. And when somebody is coming and hitting the data source, which is the Spotfire server itself, how are my employees performing? Boom, the answer is right there. No going to the database, getting the answer and coming back. We all store it in RAM. Now, how long can you store it in RAM? Probably a day. 48 hours, 72 hours, it is something configurable by the admin. We generally, in our workspace, we because the data refreshes every day, uh, we suggest like, hey, let's keep all the data for 24 hours in RAM. So you work with Aldrix, you know how caching really works. So we call it as caching data. So we cache the data, boom, that is. OBI is a different ball game completely. It's a traditional mechanism. It goes, hits the database, gets the data. So that's the biggest comparison. Can we do everything what, um feature wise like hierarchies um, creating measures yeah all that is possible but fundamentally architecturally they are different. uh there is one more uh, like important expect to business intelligence because uh, today's in the today's business we have uh, hundreds of business users which uh, uses the same dashboard for uh, reporting purpose but uh, the uh, access to the data which they have is different can we restrict in a Spotfire the access to the security of the particular data sets? It's a very good question. I know where you're going. You're going to the column level security. So the column level security, no. They're not exactly as OBI. So column level security, I would say OBI does it very well. Because when I was working, I know for Raghav, I can show the salary field. For Vibo, I cannot show the salary field because it's a very confidential data set. So that kind of column level security can be managed in OBI presentation layer, and that is very easy. Whereas in Spotfire, it is possible, but is not. it doesn't come with the options by itself. So we have something called personalized information links. It's not exactly the same, but personalized information links are um, like what kind of data level security we can manage. Okay, for Vibhav, let's say he can only see the south zone information. Raghav can see the west zone information. So that kind of um, data level security, definitely we can do. Now, 
there are options or we can call it as workarounds for Raghav seeing the salary field and Vibhav not seeing the salary field using Iron Python. Spotfire uses a little bit of scripting language called Iron Python. Um, Spotfire loses, I mean, not loses. Spotfire uses uh, JavaScript and HTML also to make rich visuals. But for this particular use case, we can use Iron Python. And when somebody lo logs in onto that page, uh, using that uh, login, we can say, hey, you can go to this page. And on that page, we can remove the field, something like that. But not like exactly like home. We understood that we can do the column level security, but in a different way than other tools. And we also understood that we can create the uh, complex functions at different levels, maybe related to queries or data editing. Uh, now I will go to another question. Is it possible to do some kind of HTML pages or scripts in Spotfire to make it uh, visually more uh, appealing for the end users? I've used extensively for HTML and JavaScript in uh, Spotfire. So, so I personally, what I did is I created a landing page where, yeah, does it look, you can, used what Spotfire also gives, but our business department had like, um, our business group had like 10 departments. So all these 10 departments, if I was trying to show the list of reports, it was too clumsy. So we came up with a very good HTML based, JavaScript based design where we like showing 10 departments nicely and when to click on them nicely lays out what kind of reports they are. So that's some basic JavaScript and HTML what we did. And once this goes in, let's say we're in the reporting layer also, how the data looks, let's say you want a logo on the top and right next to it, you want some nice um, text layer, which is uh, doing very well. The filters, what Spotfire gives natively, you don't like them, but you want to build your own filters, how they look, because your company has a different requirement or something, that kind of, um, possibility is there and using JavaScript, of course, it's a UI based, you can use jQuery. Um, Iron Python script, of course, is natively built in to automate many stuff. Let's say I'm doing A, B, C, three clicks. If you want to automate that into one click of a button, that is possible through Iron Python. So a person who likes scripting um, is a lot of options are there in Spotify. Saying that, Spotfire has already built a tool where it is very easy to build reports to both ways. So it's very easy to build reports. So you don't have to put a lot of minds. If you have the right data, pull the right visualizations and the data should be right there. But apart from that, if you want to really make them look good and, compli and not complicated, automate better, so I think scripts are also. I think we, we have got a lot of insights on the Spotfire already. I, I would like to end this uh, session uh, with one last question. If I want to start my career in Spotfire and want to grab all the knowledge that how I can develop reports, how can I create the info links and all the information related to it. So how should I start? Very good question. First of all, you can probably put uh, comments in on this video and reach out to me. I can uh, and I'll give you some links where I can you can put it in the video description and they can go. So the first link I would say is uh, there's a 14 day trial. And if you are a student, you can write an email to them and if they like, they'll give you a, a license, but I've, but it's a 14 day trial. There is something called Spotfire office hours on YouTube. Um, so Spotfire office hours is really good. So he, um, there's a person, he comes on YouTube probably every week and we follow him extensively. So he comes online, he gives what, hey, how can you build a bar chart? In the bar chart, how can you do sum of sales? Let's say, these are the basic questions, right? So this extensive material on YouTube for sure, it's called Spotfire Office Hours. Apart from that, Spot, Tipco Spotfire also has a big YouTube channel. That is the primary source. Second source is community. So uh, with community, you can say there's a, huge community of questions where you can put a question and they give you the answer. Third is, of course, uh, self-learning. There are some Udemy courses. 
But saying all this, um, I write blogs too about Spotify. I'll put the blog about That's Spotify and there is, and I'm really excited. If somebody needs any specific question, I can quickly create a video or a, a blog item about it and share. Yeah. That's really insightful, Raghav. And uh, I think uh, for the starting purpose, uh, these links would be really helpful for the developers who are looking to uh, enhance their skills on Spotify or someone who is starting uh, their career uh, in the BI stuff. So I would really thank you for sharing all these insights with us. And uh, community, if you have any questions regarding Spotify, just mention in the comments or write us on the email that has been given in the description. We will write back to you with all the details grabbing from Raghav. Sure. And if the community yeah. wants me to make Spotify a uh, tutorial or something, I can make. Thanks a lot, Viber, for inviting me on this.